It's a great time to be a young man nowadays, but sometimes that newfangled technology, like smartphones, can get in the way. For example, here's Jimmy, and he's playing with his two friends. Everything's going great. And then, what's this? A tweet from a girl he likes. Uh-oh, that looks like it hurt. Let's see that again. Jimmy should have been paying attention instead of using his phone. Let's see what he should have done. Jimmy shows that not getting distracted is a slam dunk of an idea. Smartphones can be an excellent tool for learning things about the gospel, but sometimes it can cause problems. Here's Jimmy trying to teach a class. Okay, open up your scriptures to Matthew uh, chapter 6 through 7. Blake, can you start reading? Nope. No. Poor Jimmy. His two friends are too busy checking out Facebook and looking at Snapchat filters. Let's see what they should have done with those pocket computers. Alright guys, turn to Matthew chapter 6 through 7. Oh, I got it, got it! Okay, Blake. I also have it. Oh, Brady. I got it there. Oh, Blake. But when ye pray, use not vain <laughs> repetitions as the heathen. Those youngsters now have the right idea. I call the next one. Way to go. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes when using a smartphone, the risks of life seem very little compared to internet fame. Hey, are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. It's going to get so many views. Yeah. I have to go. Are right. you ready? Tell me how to go. Another lesson learned by the School of Hard Knocks. But don't let internet fame blind you. There's lots of other things that you can do with your smartphone to get some respect. Blake, do a flip! This feels really stupid. Let's Just go do make it. some cookies for the young woman instead. That's a good idea! Let's go do that! I'm coming! Do a flip! You can earn a lot of respect through cookies. Way to go, Jimmy and friends. You now know the meaning of using your smartphone in smart ways.